So they never tell the truth. And science means the one who knows, or scion means to search or to know. Most of our scientists, when they do find it, they're too afraid of shaking the book, so they don't. So I simply say again, you have to begin to go down into some of the ancient texts, and most of those are placed in metaphysics, and that's why you find that all secret societies have a metaphysical library, because that's where you find your truth. The rest of these are metaphors and inscribations and things to help people sell books, make money, and control minds. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Welcome. Thanks for calling, Albert. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Mm-hmm. I do have a question from the chat room. Um, very curious about where you've gotten this information. It's it's all ringing so true. It is just very powerful. Um, as you said, we are waking up so we can sense and feel the truth in it. But the the person in the chat room just wants to know, was it intuited? Did you receive it through study or from another source? Well, I was a college history professor. I left that a long time ago. Uh, I had an incident that changed my entire life way back in the end of 1959, 1960, in which I met some brothers. I met some people. They didn't turn out. They, they were brothers. We didn't start off on a good footing, <laughs> but they turned out to be because of my ignorance. And I, anyway, I met them. They were black, and uh, they could do things I couldn't do. And after I saw what they were capable of doing and I couldn't, everything else, every field of study became none plus. It was stupid because I saw them tell me, it's predict the future by 18 minutes, read my mind, transport me in time, uh, and then brought three UFOs over my house. So once you, I wanted to be like Mike. So after that, I didn't see any professors that showed me anything I wanted to do. So I just left all of that because after that, and I began to study voraciously, I meditated, and a lot of my wishes have been granted, some of which I wish hadn't been, you know, to tell you be careful, and others have not been. But it gave me something to shoot for that I needed as a kind of an inquisitive soul as I am. Wonderful. Well, uh, hope Shakti, I hope that that did answer your question. It certainly answered mine. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. So just out of curiosity, these these brothers that you ran into that so shifted your life, I mean, what was their origin? How did they develop these powers? I never asked them that question. I only had that one opportunity. It was for about three hours, and uh, I was so busy getting other questions answered, and that part never came up. I met, that's the I'm leaving. This is what when you fragment a story, it it kind of doesn't make sense. I met them through a Polish man named George Adamski, because I was going to a UFO symposium, and that's another long story. I do have it on tape. I got 135 tapes, and some of these things are on there. I didn't even talk about it for about 10 years, but there are some people that witnessed what I went through, so they were like my backbone. But uh, because of that, then I saw I met them. Uh, I was a student struggling, and I did, couldn't go. I went out to a symposium where he was supposed to speak. He was there on a Friday and Saturday. I came on a Friday. He wasn't there Saturday. I didn't have enough money to go back. He told me, come back again. And then he had called these two brothers, I guess, to come to speak to me because he spoke to me for five hours the night before, didn't know me from anybody, Adam, but must have picked up something in my vibe to figure this little guy needed some kind of help. So that's where it all started off. But that's the whole story overall. But that was how it came about. And uh, some questions I asked, I got answered. But I had so many questions, I guess I forgot some of the answers. But since that time, through meditation and study, now if I need to know something, I go within. And that's what I tell everybody. I can find anything I want to know by accident after I do my meditation. I'll see, I'll read a book or hear a conversation or turn on the radio or follow that first mind and I see a television show. If I need the answer, it will be presented. It will be presented within 72 hours. And it works for me or it will work for anybody else, too. It's nothing so great about my what I do. It's just that people don't know it. And you trust the wrong people to give you information, and they're usually controlled by organizations who don't want you to be awake. Yes. Well, I can certainly attest to that, uh, Dr. Blair. It happens for me. I think a lot of times we're frightened of asking the right questions because when we ask those questions, we're going to get the answer. <laughs> oh, man. I remember once asking, you know, I really want to know the truth. I want to know. And then I heard... Are you sure you want to know? <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. I and had I an said, that, yes. Yeah, I had an incident to happen day. I'm not going to go into it, but I needed reassurance, and I, I asked for it the way I was supposed to, got the answer, and was shocked when I got it. You know, uh-huh. or got the, you know, so as I say, sometimes you're not prepared to stay on a high plane because we're mortal. But when we deal with our immortal self, our souls, and we understand that we can get a gift from the Creator. Great. 
Well, I invite you all. I know that everyone, oh, I, I see the chat room is full there. Everyone is probably oh. just kind of standing there with their mouths gaping open because of this information. But please, don't be scared. Come on, call in and ask a question at 347-843-4485. There are no dumb questions. The only dumb ones are the ones that aren't asked, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ones that I pose. <laughs> you, uh, it's, it's also, too, uh, Tamara, Tamara Westwood, um, if I may, I do have a website, and yes, I do have a lot of tapes, and I have more tapes than are not on the website. But mm-hmm. if I could give that out, I'd appreciate it, may I? Yes, please it's do. It's www. The you have to put in the uh, the the prefix T H E the metacenter dot com very short and simple triple w dot the meta short for metaphysical dot com mm-hmm. and uh, got a phone landline and that's seven zero eight four two two six six eight five seven zero eight four two two six six eight five and that's where you can contact the Meta Center. We have a large website dealing with all kind of products from monatomic gold uh to about oh I guess about forty different kind of magnetic devices from mag from mattresses to bracelets. Uh we have um diodes which is another thing too. That's another thing when I state to people that the diodes are a gift from the future for a struggling mankind today, uh people don't want to believe it. And I've had people try to back engineer it. I knew they couldn't, but I let them try anyway. But those are the devices you can now use on those cell phones, and you can put your food on to take out poisons and toxins, your cigarettes and your tobacco and drugs. You don't know what to do with them. Put them on a diode plaque. Sit on a diode plaque when you're driving your car so your sex organ starts getting radiated as you're sitting on those cars that have a solid well to the frame of a car, and you turn on the motor and pass under a tower, and you're in deep trouble. <laughs> Old things on that one. So I try to find solutions. There's many problems. I like so answers really and fun. solutions. <laughs> well, yes, and I'm still waiting for mine. I'm excited to get those diodes. Oh, <laughs> you got cheated out, huh? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I heard that. And I know I what happened so there, too. I'm excited about our people being able to contact you. Would you repeat that phone number again, please? It's 708-422-6688. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm putting it in the chat room here for everyone okay. that wants to contact you. Well, wonderful. Well, it looks like I can go on with my further questions. Okay. Nobody else wants to talk to me, huh? See, they talk to you or well, talk to me. Well, <laughs> apparently, everything has, has been answered, apparently, or maybe, you know, they're like, whoa, okay, I know where to go. I'll seek within. I heard that. But, but my question is about the whole, because you talked about the, the legends and you talk about the allegories and the, the myths that, that have, you know, that have transcended time and uh, nationality and, and religion and all of that. How about those fallen angels? You know, we we hear about the the war in heaven where Michael threw out the the great beast, the Satan, and hmm, what is all that about? Wow. Well, most of the time you're referencing the Kabbalah, you're referencing mm-hmm. the so-called um, Greek book Bible, Biblic. That's what it means, Biblios in the book of the book of the Greeks that was translated. You're talking about generally Christian now references or religious references. Uh, if you know, if you're watching very closely now, as the times always show the signs, and the signs always show the times. Academy okay. Award, uh, what was this guy, Slumdog, uh, whatever it was, Millionaire, won eight yeah. Academy Awards. The song that came from that got popular. They're doing disco is ringing on that now again, even doing some reggae off of it now. And the most beautiful woman in the world now is said to be from India. And if you notice now, the Indians, and we're talking about real Indians because Columbus didn't know what to call the other ones and they forgot their names too. <laughs> so you're getting people from India now that are can beginning to control this daggone country. They're buying lots that. of hotels and there you're getting your switch over to India. Well, there's a reason for that. That's because if you read their Book of Truths, the Bhagavad Gita as it is, or the Upanishads, or the Book of Truths as they call it again, and you read the Rig Veda, these are all talking about the different things that happened on our earth, and they're some of the older people on our earth, and they are now coming back into their, their own. And that's mm-hmm. another thing, too. You're going to, you know, that big, big dispute that's been going on now between India and China and 
and Palestine and, and Pakistan and all, all of that is the old remnants. This is what all this is about, is they're coming back around to the time when they were great, when they were usurped, and when things didn't happen as they should. 